Expert Connect HDMI Multi Viewer 4 in 1 Quad Viewer Pro Series. Here's my setup for the to test the Expert Connect switcher. I have a slightly different setup than uh, my previous videos whenever I do these multi cam things. So I have two uh, Panasonic GH5, GH5S, uh, GH5, GH5S. I have a Canon XF400, which isn't on right now. I, I don't know exactly what's going on. It might be the cable. And then I have my iPhone, which I'm using the Filmic Pro. And Filmic Pro has an HDMI out in their latest firmware update. And I'm going out through there, through, the, through an adapter. And that's where you see that uh, box. So it's a four input switcher. This is meant for consumer TVs, but I've been on this quest to try to find a, a quad switcher where I can be on multi-cam shoots, interviews, when I'm shooting fitness, uh, events, and not have to pay a th a $500,000 for those professional switchers. And I'm gonna bring a cheap old monitor like this. This is just a cheap Samsung computer monitor 24 inch and everything here is besides the cameras and the lenses everything here is pretty affordable for ultra low budget multi-cam productions with this expert connect it has four inputs here and one output HDMI output there's no on or off switch the minute you plug it in it turns on the HDMI output is plugged into this monitor and you can see it in quad view mode and there's really no buttons here. There's a, a power indicator just to show that it's on. And then there's a switch, uh, two buttons, one for audio, one for video. And you just have to keep switching if you wanna cycle through all of the settings. So you really need the remote control, which is a good thing because the remote control has is rubber and you can't hear the clicks. So if you're trying, to, if you're recording a live event or an interview, and you wanna switch angles because you're on set and you're, you wanna check everything, you're not gonna hear it in any of the microphones. So right now, again, I don't know what's going on with the XF400. I'm gonna, I think it's a cable thing or maybe a setting in the XF400, but there should be four cameras there. And I'm gonna go through, this is quad mode, and it's a really easy way to get to quad mode because it has a quad mode button right there. So I'm gonna go cycle through the modes. Um, just to show you what it looks like. It's a different view. <laughs> I don't know if you would, oh, that's a better view. You have three on one side, one in the middle, three on that side. Oh, you can just make, it's just cycling through uh, which angle is gonna be in the bigger screen there. Great, and then when you wanna go back to quad mode, you can see, you know, there's a, there's a second delay when you switch, but it's not as bad as this other switcher I was using. Now, if you wanna go individual shots, there's a keypad here. One, two, three, four, and those are your inputs. So I'm gonna to go to camera one, and it'll fill up the screen. And uh, camera two is the XF400, so that's not gonna work. So if you go to three, switches, four, there's my iPhone. Three, one. Yeah, when I'm pointing the remote right at the, the uh, IR um, interface here, it switches pretty fast. As you can see, it's, it's going in almost real time, but then when I wanna go to quad mode, it takes a second for it all to load. And then when I wanna go individual shots, it takes a second and then it goes. I like it a lot. Now to test the latency, the latency on the uh, on this device isn't as bad as uh, a model I tested a few years ago, and it's not even as bad. It's just like uh, the Roland or the Black Magic as far as latency goes. So you can see all all the images here. The best way I can test it is using this. I use this bamboo pole, <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna put the bamboo pole out here. I'll tap it so you can see the latency. The iPhone, there's a delay, a bigger delay on the iPhone than there are on the Panasonics because the iPhone, it not only has to exp, you know, show the video, but it's going through this adapter here. So there's a lot of 
funky stuff with the iPhone. So I, I wouldn't even use an iPhone in this situation. I just wanted to see how the output worked in Filmic Pro. But here you can see the, the real time latency and it's a millisecond or less than a millisecond. So if you're doing an interview and you wanna get, uh, you know, you're monitoring the interview with this big monitor and you wanna make sure that you don't wanna be annoyed by the lips not being in sync of the audio, this device is pretty good. So let's go into a larger, let's go to camera three. All right, camera three and test the latency when it's big. Yeah, you see that? This is really good, very low latency. I am, am impressed with latency. This weighs not too much. It's it's about the size of my hand. Um, you know, it's not huge. It's very portable, and it's only coming with this, this remote, and then the uh, AC power. Yeah, I like it. I think this is a really good buy. It was under a hundred dollars. R E I. HDMI 4-in-1 quad multi-viewer, HD 401MR. Now I'm testing the REI HD 401MR. This is also under $100. It's much smaller than the other uh, connect the expert connect expert connect so this this is the expert connect and this is the REI it's much it's less than half the size and the weight it weighs nothing this is really heavy this is a brick compared to the REI there and this one here's what you're seeing I finally got the XF 400 to work it was a, a setting in the camera so now you see all four angles XF400, can, uh, Panasonic, GH5, GH5S, and this is the uh, iPhone 11 Pro running Filmic Pro with this output, HDMI output. And those are all the angles. This one has a much smaller, flimsier remote that you can swap all of the modes, but I'm gonna use the clicking interface here. There's three buttons, one for audio and two for modes. So this is the quad mode. When I switch it again, here are different modes that you can be in. Split, the three on one side, one in the middle, and then you can get the full, uh, go to each camera. And uh, it's pretty fast, fairly fast as I switch. And then I go back to the full mode. There we go. Since the REI is so much smaller than the Expert Connect. I was hoping that this was going to be equal to this or better and I'm noticing there are some Things I don't like about the REI. The size is great uh, It's really compact. I like the smaller remote that has The the modes already there so you you know what you're switching to but you can also do it on the device but Here's the big problem with all consumer switchers that are meant for televisions, the latency. So if you remember just a second ago when I was testing out the Expert Connect, there was less than a millisecond delay. But on the REI, I'm gonna show you my bamboo stick. Look at the bamboo stick. There is a much longer delay. in all angles, especially the iPhone, but yeah, this is not, you can see it's almost like a half a second or maybe a second delay. Again, this is only annoying if you're doing an interview or you're doing a live event where you want the audio to match the visual exact precisely. So there's no it doesn't look like the uh, someone's talking and then you hear the audio uh, you know half a second later you're going to get annoyed by that but if you if you don't need if you don't care about the latency then this is a really great in, uh, product to to buy instead of you know purchasing those expensive production switchers
You might not be able to see it in quad mode, but when I go into, let me swap, swap to a full, full screen on one of these. Not the iPhone, but let's go to, there we go. Let's try that one. Okay. There, you see that? You can see it when the screen's a lot bigger. So I tap, and then you see it. Yeah, that's how you can really see that latency. You did not see that latency, I or I did not see that latency on the Expert Connect, but I do see it on the REI. So if I had to choose between these two, they basically work the same. I like the interface slightly better on the REI, and the control it seems seems more intuitive. But for the latency factor, it looks like the Expert Connect is better at the latency versus the REI. And there you go.